What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back. Run over these chickens. See what Captain Monroe has in store for us. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. <laughs> okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Like I was like, we need to we need to be careful. Uh Arthur's like, where's this wagon? I'm gonna shoot these bastards and save these kids. So this Colonel Fabian he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, I like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well. Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know... I mean, this thing probably one-shots people, but... Got a reload accuracy and range has on many it. flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone he fought for the union in the war and his record was considered far from illustrious a failed man is often the most dangerous I guess we're gonna find this wagon and I probably have the choice all of right. this sneaking up and taking vaccines Let's or just shooting them all way. sure there's a nice vantage point up at the top here but with all these missions, you're you're definitely seeing the redemption in the Red Dead Redemption, you know. The game is very much trying to push me towards being a more honorable lad. You know, help help the guy, help the Indians, help Sadie. You'll notice that, like a lot of the I think it's only been chapter six, but I've been seeing a lot of missions that are help or not help. Like choose to help. Just leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. A lot of stuff where I can help, or I could just tell them to screw off. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, 
Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Okay, girl. Yep. Put that down right now. Do you want to get shot? Is that it? Gonna need your cargo, fellas. Are you insane? That's it. Shoot that bastard already. You're good at dick. Go oh, shit. No, 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 no. no. Oh shit, wrong button, come on! Mm. Ow, come on, man! Mm. Why can't I... Hogtie, come on! Oh, fuck it, alright, fuck it, let's go, let's go! I don't know if I, I probably was supposed to sneak on in here. I mean, I didn't kill him. See, like, look at it, guy. Even when I'm trying to be a good man, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out. My Arthur, <laughs> my Arthur's just not an honorable Arthur. I tried to be good. I pointed a gun at him. I said, stop. All I want is your cargo. And what do they do? They draw and they start firing on me. So I put away my gun. I try to lasso him. The buttons used to lasso ain't showing up. Can't even hogtie the guy. So instead, what do I do? I steal the wagon. I just steal the wagon. I figured steal the wagon, get the medicine, free the horses, be on my way. And then this asshole has to come running right in front of my horse and get trampled to death.
Well, I got medicine. He's probably gonna be pissed that I killed one of the soldiers, but I mean, not my fault he ran in front of the horse. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Probably get a buttload of honor. Honor amongst thieves. Let's see. Or they'd be back seeing without being detected. Okay, so I probably could have, like, followed them until they stopped somewhere to go piss and then hop in the back and steal it. Okay, my girl. Yeah, my honor is going up a little bit. Alright, so what was that? T. Tilly? Tilly? Does Tilly have a mission? I like Tilly's. No, it's Trelawney. Trelawney's missions aren't bad. And then there's the Strauss missions. Marco. Somebody I met before, I guess, and then a stranger. Janan. Ah, uh, Penelope Braithleaf. Oh, escape. Well, with where I'm at. See, this is the problem with doing these damn missions, man. It's we're in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of nowhere. And there's no fast way out of this. Nice job. Go help Braithwaite girl. I could help Trelawney. You done good, girl. Whatever I need to do. I need to be by a town so I can utilize the, the fast travel. I honestly think that's part of the reason this game is just like slowly kind of made me stop caring about it. Get back. No, I think um I think it's it's important. Come on, come on, just keep running. Good girl. Wolves ain't gonna catch you, you just gotta run. That's a good girl. Good girl. Whoops. Uh, but you know, a lot of times it's like there's when there's stuff all over the map like this, like fast travel is good. I don't care if it breaks immersion. I ain't trying to ride my horse like like alright, we started riding at about twelve minutes we left that camp. Let's see how long it takes for me to get down to Penelope Braithwaite, right? So I finished the mission. The mission took about ten minutes. I'm just looking for something to to do another for another fifteen, twenty minutes, little side mission. The fastest way to get there is going to be going here, paying off the bounty, using the stagecoach, traveling with the stagecoach. And even just that, I would bet you guys it's going to take us about five minutes plus to ride on over here. There's no mission closer. It would take longer to ride out for a mission. Oh, sir, just in time. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Oh, what the... It's weird. Hogtie is circle. It wouldn't let me hogtie the soldier, guys. The things I'm gonna do to you when I get free. This is uh, very kind of. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna take you into the closest place that has a jail. Okay then, girl. 
everyone always talks about the immersion and the realism of this game. Let's put it to the test. This guy just tried to rob me. Um, the closest town would be Valentine, actually. Let's head on over. Let's head on over to Valentine. Take this man into the sheriff's office and uh, see what the sheriff says. Nice and easy. Yep. I have a feeling they're gonna tell me I'm arrested for kidnapping though and try to put a bullet in me. Oh my god! Kidnapping. Kidnapping. This man tried to rob me. I captured him. I put him under citizen's arrest. Show you, man. Game don't care. Probably best if they just can't recognize your face. I know. You'll say, well, cowboy shot that man dead. That's still. Easy. Whoa. We're kidnapping him. And I'll say, well, he assaulted me. I captured him. I brought him to the police. Where is my realism? Where is my justice? There is none. There is no goddamn justice in this game. Just a set of rules that you're expected to play by. Oh, hello. Howdy. Nice to see you. That's quite a sum. I hope you learned your lesson. See you around. Feels bad, man. All right, let's take a look at the map. Hmm, there's a stranger in town. Let's go see, see who this is.
So yeah, I guess it's just a double standard, you know. If I'm like I'm basically, uh, I was effectively like bounty hunting, right? Dragging that guy, hogtied, riding into town, face not covered. Obviously, you know, I'm not a fucking outlaw. What kind of outlaw would do shit like that? But people report me for kidnapping. Yeah, if I were to be doing a bounty hunt mission, if I were to be doing a bounty hunt, right? Same exact circumstances. Everyone doesn't know that I'm a bounty hunter. My friend, you there. Nobody knows I'm a bounty hunter. They don't know I'm getting somebody that's that's uh you know wanted by the law. But no one will no one will try and witness and and call me for kidnapping. Nope, they won't do any of that. What the hell are you trying to do? Just brush the horse, man. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep... Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. Okay. Please put us out of our misery. Now is as good a time as any. Go for it. Good shot, sir. I didn't think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Ready? Aim. Fire. Sir? Shoot, sir. Here goes. Can't go flinching, man. Yes. <sighs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. And this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen. Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My... Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why too much? No, nope, my sweet. A funny little mission. Might as well go in the general store and get some more brandy since I just used up a bunch of it. If my wife saw
saw you come in here after what you did to me, she'd kill you herself. Don't dawdle. Get what you need, and go. Fine, all right, this is the catalog. I doubt I need more hair tonic, but I might. All right, so we're going to wrap this one up here, but we'll have more tomorrow. I'm thinking, well, what I want to try and do, supposedly, there's a mission I can do, uh, not a mission, but a trick to just boost my honor up, because clearly, even when I'm trying to be an honorable lad, it ain't working out. So I'm going to see if that'll work first. And if it doesn't work, instead, I think I might head down. We got some stuff down here. Ooh, Charles, I forgot about his. That would be a good one to see. Maybe I'll go down to St. Denis, knock that stuff out, and then make my way towards uh, BB. I want a dead or alive all over Annisburg. We could make our way back here towards the camp, though. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll probably go towards the camp just to see what Trelawney wants. Um, Take a stagecoach, get over there quick. But anyway, make sure to stay tuned, and I'll catch you all next time with more Red Dead. Stay.